Hello you all wonderful people out there. Welcome back to VidsTube. If you're new here, thanks so much for clicking and here's where you'll find detailed tech reviews for a variety of smartwatches like this one and in today's video, I'll talk about everything that you need to know about the Google Assistant for your Fitbit Versa 3 or Fitbit Sense. So let's get started. Right off the bat, Google Assistant at the time of filming this video is not yet available worldwide. Here's the list of countries where it's now available. But hey, it's finally now available in Canada, so as promised in the ECG and on wrist call update video that I did a while back, here's the video for Google Assistant. Setting up Google Assistant is a piece of cake provided you have a Google account. You can do that either during the initial setup of your Fitbit smartwatch or you can do it later on by going in the Fitbit mobile app. Under accounts, click on the connected Fitbit device which in my case is my Fitbit Sense and you'll find voice assistant. In my case the Google assistant is already set up but with just few prompts and click you'll be all good to go. Now before I start talking to Google assistant a lot of people would have a privacy related question that will Google assistant be listening from my Fitbit smartwatch in the background and Fitbit answers no to that question and I believe it because unlike Wear OS smartwatches there is no Google assistant activation by saying commands like this. On the contrary you have to press and hold the tactile key to activate it. For the Google Assistant to work, you need to make sure that your watch is connected to the phone and it's nearby. With all that in context, let's start asking questions to Google Assistant. Let's see if I can control my connected smart home devices as I have a lot of smart home devices including my smart TV. Turn on office lights. Turn off office lights. So as you can see to my surprise it's quite responsive and pretty much instantaneous without any lag. Now let's see if I can start a workout. Start a run. Stop the run. So basically you can start 8 exercises like walk, run, bike, yoga, weight, elliptical, treadmill and workout. Now you might have noticed that despite of both the Fitbit Sense and Versa 3 having a built-in speaker, Google Assistant does not talk back and that's unfortunate. The built-in speaker is basically useless except for on wrist calls. Yeah, you heard me, you can't use it for sound alert, notification, alarm, music playback and all that good stuff. I hope Fitbit adds some functionality to this built-in speaker. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and smash that like button, it really helps. Now let's see if I can do some functional tasks. Set up an alarm for 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Cancel that alarm. Start a timer for 10 seconds. What's the current weather? Multiply 25 by 25. Convert 100 Canadian dollar to US dollar. Remind me to do groceries tomorrow at 6 a.m. Who's the current Prime Minister of Canada? What's the definition of onomatopoeia? How far is the moon from earth? So all this is cool and pretty responsive. Now here is what Google Assistant can't do on your Fitbit Sense or Fitbit Versa 3. Open the wallet app. Call Victor. Send a text message to Victor. So as you see, unfortunately Google Assistant can't open apps make a call or send a text message. It can do basic web search but can't do much. And you also need to be in close proximity to your phone. In terms of music playback, Google Assistant can control Spotify, Pandora and Deezer which I have tried and it didn't work as I need to have a premium Spotify membership. So I can't really comment on how it performs 
but if you guys have tried that please comment down below as it can help others now let's ask google assistant some weird questions do you have a boyfriend hmm i sort of expected that answer who do you like more alexa or bixby hmm i see google favors alexa hey bixby That's a nice answer. Are you better than Siri? Well, that's a very good diplomatic answer. <laughs> now, before my final verdict, let's talk about troubleshooting. If you run into issues where you get connection errors, then just make sure to open up the Fitbit mobile app and sync your Fitbit smartwatch. You also need to keep the Fitbit mobile app running in the background. If the problem still persists, then go under the voice assistant and select Google Assistant and you will find an option to reconnect. But from my personal experience, I found that as far as your watch is connected to the phone and in close proximity, Google Assistant will just work fine. So Google Assistant in my opinion is quite functional and I say that because I have tested out Alexa and the video is linked in the video description. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. And as you saw earlier, I can control all my smart home devices without any lag and I quite frankly use it very often. And on top of that, I can use it to set alarm, timer, reminder, do a quick math or conversion. Now I have reviewed a lot of smartwatches including Wear OS smartwatches and I can say that this is not the best experience I have had with Google Assistant. It would be really nice if Google Assistant can talk back via the built-in speaker and do more functional tasks. But hey, this is what it is for now. So that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It will be a big help to my YouTube channel and consider subscribing for such videos. Come on guys, don't hesitate. Just do that. It's free and you might find something what you like. Also follow me in my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.